There's you know how my that tour was, guide. <laughs> you know how that was our filler over there? Yeah. This is our new filler. It's like three, four times as big. I know. And it does, uh, this will do about 670 bottles a minute. <laughs> money, money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, so here's like the start, and those are the finished, and they go up over there, and that, that machine puts them onto a pallet. We're going to put 75 cases on there, get them all squared up, and then they take it and put it on the wrapper. But, so yeah, they go down the here whenever they do. And then that machine is like the pre-wash carousel. It puts it in, shoots it with air, a little blast of water, and that way everything drains yeah. out of it. Does anybody want a beer? I'm good, brother. Okay. I got a hockey game. I'll take you. Take one as a souvenir. You don't it's, have to have it now. It's a short fill, so it oh, doesn't exist go. technically. Ah, uh, yes. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. Maximus. Maximus. India fail. <laughs> They go through here, you know, and then they come out on that one. And there's the filler part. Those, each one of those will pick up the bottle, uh -huh. shoot it with the CO2. It goes around there, and it gets filled with beer. And then, see this thing right here? Uh -huh. That comes down. That is a magnetic track that pulls the crowns, the caps, through there. And so after they get filled, this get little cap. wheel right here goes taps them and then they come out here unlabeled and this thing is sort of like an after rinse if there's you know bubbles or whatever that came over it won't clean off the uh -huh. outside so what he's saying is a short fill this little thing right here is like a little laser and as this thing's coming through hundreds hundreds a minute it's like oh that one's short boom and it has a little arm and this thing will pop it off onto this shelf just like it knows oh that one's off that one's off boom. Huh. And it shoots it off, and so they pull these short fills. Because if there's too much, if it's short, there's going to be too much oxygen in it, and it won't balance out right. So the beer will go bad quicker because it'll absorb the oxygen. So there's, what do they what do they do with those? They top it off? Those would just be dumped. No, like that. that that's that's dumped because it won't last on the shelf. So I mean, is this is this a, a short one? It will fill up short. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's going to be good for at least three weeks. It'll be fine. But after that, it's going to wow. deteriorate because it's going to have too much oxygen in there and it's going to lose its carbonation. The beer is just going to absorb that. Huh. And then, Dude. So, all these, you know, they come through here. Oh, look at this. Let's check that out. Where's a good view? Right here. Right? Yeah, look at the arms. This one. I've actually never really seen it set by the new one. And then those brushes slough it on after this thing, it grabs them off of here and gets a little bit of glue off the wheel on the inside there. And then that spins around, hits it on the label, and then those brushes are just... Ooh. <laughs> it's cool, man. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> and let's see, let's see how the boxes are made. Get it all cleared out while they're doing that. 
someone else be changing the crowns because there's different colors, changing the labels over, and then that way it all comes together and it's all ready to go. The same beer matches the label and the crowns and everything. How and often? Then, uh, how often do they come out with a different brand though? Oh, uh, it varies. Some days we'll do just IPA, or some days we might even do three different flavors. Usually about like that, one to maybe three times a day. Yeah. 